Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your own doTERRA foaming hand wash. So doTERRA has their own um, foaming hand wash concentrate and you just pour that in here. You can pour it in straight or you can dilute it with a little bit of water and then just start pumping out your soap. But I am out. So this is what you can do in the meantime um, until your next order comes in. You can make your own DIY foaming hand wash with on guard essential oil. And look at how awesome this, this is great. Big foam. Woo. It's awesome. So this is great too because your kids can just, they don't have to scrub as much, right? You don't have to work up the lather. It's good to teach them that, but I have a little one. So having this already foamed and ready to go is awesome. Okay. So when you order the on guard foamy hand wash you can also get the pump bottles like this and you will get a two pack so this one's already full let's do this one all right i've taken the top off of my foaming pump bottle and i'm just going to take some castile soap i like dr bronner's pure castile soap that is unscented there's some with lavender and peppermint and things like that but i want the unscented because i don't want any fragrances um if it's not a doTERRA essential oil, we don't use it because it likely has synthetics and fillers and things that we don't want in our products. So I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of Castile soap <clears throat> into my foaming pump bottle. And then I'm gonna put another tablespoon of fractionated coconut oil. I used to use avocado oil, but it tends to get a little bit thick and fractionated coconut oil is nice because it doesn't um, have any greasiness to it and it's just a nice gentle moisturizer. I like the doTERRA fractionated coconut oil also but I use this for more of my um, facial products. If it's anything for the body I just opt for the store brand. So I'm going to put a tablespoon of that into my bottle. Oop. You can totally measure this out but I'm not a big measuring person. Um, and then I like to do just a little squirt of some organic witch hazel. Um, this is a natural, like astringent, but just a squirt of this seems to help it foam a little bit better in my experience. Then I'm gonna use my On Guard essential oil. If you're not familiar with On Guard, it's amazing. That's why they have their own hand soap and laundry detergent and cleaner and cough drops and everything. So On Guard is a protective blend. Not only does it kill germs, but it helps to boost your immune system at the same time. So it's perfect for a hand soap because you want to get all the germs off your hands when you're leaving the bathroom or you're working in the kitchen, but you also need that boost to your immune system all the time. It's about staying healthy. So let's put in 20 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 drops of my On Guard Protective Blend Essential Oil. And then I'm just going to fill it with water. All right, so I'm just gonna pour some water into here. When you pour it in, you do wanna make sure you leave a little bit of room for your foam pump to go in to the bottle. So don't fill it up quite all the way. That's good. A bit more. All right. Just put the foamer in there and twist it on. Give it a little shake and you're good to go. It'll start foaming. Let's try that. Better unlock it first. Give it a couple of pumps. Ooh, I don't want to make a mess. There we go. So you just have to prime it up a little bit to get that get that nice thick foam. All right, guys, that is how you make your on your DoTerra On Guard foaming hand soap.